Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of This Week in Comics. My name is Yul, and every week I run down comics that I'm looking forward to. Also, this week we're going to be starting a feature where I run down the top five comics that we sold this week. So, stay tuned! Alright, so first up we're going to do the top five comics that we sold this week at Fantastic Comics. Coming in at number five, Captain America number 698. Coming up fourth place, we have Avengers number 680. Black Monday Murders number eight sits at number three. Number two is Marvel 2-in-1 number three. And coming in at number one this week, I know it's hard to believe, yet again, another Batman related book, Dark Knight's Metal, The Wild Hunt. This was a special one shot. This was our number one issue. Next up, we've got some comics I'm looking forward to. First up, we've got Black Panther Annual number one. This is the first annual our hero has had since ta Coates has started up this series. And this is going to be written by three authors of Black Panther past. Don McGregor, Christopher Priest, and Reginald Hudlin. There's a lot of fans of all of those guys at different times and they're all gonna be in one space. There's gonna be some good art also and there's a lot of new Black Panther fans. So this is probably one that you're gonna to wanna to pick up fast. Next up is Deathbed number one. I, I kind of think I fell asleep on it as I was reading what it was about recently. I think I should have ordered more. It's written by Joshua Williamson who does The Flash, a book I really like. And it's gonna have art by Riley Rossmo who a lot of people maybe don't know, but he's a very good illustrator. He's off having done Shadow and a Batman uh, crossover series. And now he's going to be doing this miniseries. It's all about a hero who is on his deathbed, long retired, and he's telling his memoirs to a failed novelist who is getting sucked up into his world. Sounds very interesting and maybe funny, maybe very exciting and violent. Uh, something that I'm going to look forward to. I hope I have a chance. I hope you do too. Check this one out. Next up we have Matahari number one. This is a Dark Horse miniseries about the infamous double agent who used sex to ply her trade. It's going to be drawn by Ariella Christentina, who is known for having done insects. She draws very sexy women and I'm assuming this is going to be a very sexy book. Uh, I'm not very familiar with the writer. Her name is Emma Beebe and I'm pretty interested in this. I get most of my history lessons from comic books anyway. So if you're like me, you should check this book out. Next up we have Multiple Warheads Ghost Throne. This is written and drawn by Brandon Graham and is the final chapter of the Multiple Warheads storyline that was in the anthology Island that Image put out. This is also another Image comic book. I don't really have much to say. Brandon Graham has a very nice cartoony style. Uh, I really enjoy his illustrations. I don't always read his work, but I always enjoy looking at it. If you are a Multiple Warheads fan, you have to come on in and get this book because I don't expect it to be around for long. And lastly from DC, we have Brave and the Bold number one. This is a six issue miniseries drawn and written for the first time by Liam Sharp. He is fresh off having worked on Wonder Woman with Greg Rucka and she is going to be one of the main characters in the story. Anybody that's read Brave and the Bold should know that Batman's the other character. Uh, of course, anybody that knows any series that's coming out from Deep Sea should probably have Batman in it. Anyway, I can only imagine Liam Sharp going up to the offices and saying, I've got a really great idea for a Wonder Woman story. And he tells them all about it and they're like, mm, I don't know, it's missing something. And he's like, oh yeah, and then there's Batman and they're like, yeah, let's do it. 
Uh, anyway, Liam Sharp's a very good illustrator, and I'm a little interested to see what kind of story he can write also. There's been some pencilers that you wouldn't think that could put some good stories together. So, I'm looking forward to it. Uh, Wonder Woman Batman. Thank you everybody for showing up to another episode. We really appreciate it. I want to let everybody know that by the time this comes out, well, at least the bet is that we're going to be at 100 subscribers. And I want to thank everybody for making that happen. We've really grown in the last couple weeks and we are looking forward to the future. If you haven't, subscribe. Subscribe. Hit the bell for notifications and also like the video. Please comment down on below and visit your local comic store. And we'll see you next week.